Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is just a natural makeup look, what I did when I filmed my monthly hair growth, and some of you really liked it, so I might as well just recreate it for you, and I, I, it's just really simple. So first of all, you just need to prime your skin. I just got the Honey Do Me Up NYX Primer, which I love. Just gonna put some of this on. This is really good for people who didn't use this with your dry, oily skin, because I feel like any primer is good for you, you know? People, some people when they're oily, they're scared of primer, thinking, when well, good grief, it's just not gonna be good for me, but it is, you just, you just need to try them. So I'm just putting my hair back. I love how long my hair is getting now. I'm just like, yes please. I've already washed, I washed my face and I all done that jet, so. Why not, you know, I just, I didn't go to the gym table, I'm going tomorrow, which is good enough for me. No, like every other day. I'm gonna try again every day, see what that's like, you know. So the foundation I'm gonna put on, it's in vanilla. It's in vanilla. It's in the shade of vanilla. Hopefully it's okay for me. I hope. I'm just gonna put it onto a backup container. Mm, just gonna put it in this container and just put it on my skin. I've just done my beauty blender, a Morphe sponge. Morphe sponge, beauty blender doesn't matter. I am so happy. Um, I know some people didn't like my dream board, what I did, but do you know what? It's something that I've never done and I've wanted to do and ambush and recreating Amber Shores DIYs is something that I've wanted to do as well and I thought of doing them myself but I might get questions like oh my god how to do this, how to do that. Like I want to show you the stuff that I want to do everywhere. I did my um, table today, did a DIY in that which will be up before this one and I absolutely love it. It's just crazy how you can get a white table and just put it over with some kind of like stuff over it. Do you know what it says? It's like adhesive with adhesive stuff. So I, I do put it on my eyelids as well. Yeah, as you can see, like I've got this still. I'm probably gonna use it up, you know. Put it on some stuff that I need, you know. I'm put it down there as well because I do have stuff that just need some powder just to sit everywhere as well. That's what I like to do. Set my powder. And I set my eyelids as well. When I do this, I definitely set my eyelids. No, I always touch my skin. The reason I touch my skin is because I want my skin to be nice and smooth, you know? Because if you do your face nice and smooth, it's going to be easier to blend stuff out. No, I didn't learn it from any YouTuber. I've learned it for over the years where I haven't cut my face and my face has become muddy. That's where I've learned it. Throughout the years when I've done makeup, throughout the years, it's just what I've done. Throughout the years I've learned. You learn when you do makeup, you learn everything. You learn it. I'm just gonna bronze. This one I didn't contour. I bronzed. I bronzed. I'm just using the Kiko Four Point Two Eight Collection. I bronzed. I used this just to go over it, just to give a nice chisel back. I bronzed. I did not contour or nothing like that. I bronzed. Because I wanted my face to look really nice and bronzy. I don't know why. I think I think I was tan. Yeah, I was definitely tan. And I wanted to have a bronze in my face. You know, I didn't want to contour. I just wanted a bronze. It's like I want a bronze, and that's what I did. Was well, just bronze at my face, because I don't know why. I'm just getting more into bronzing than I am contouring. And I just bronzed all around my face, including my temples, including my size of the face to give my face that slimmer effect under my chin as well i just and i did the, and i did this as well just you know just a uh, make sure it's all nice and chiseled as well i did contour my nose and i did do got to for that and did underneath her chin here lips here
make sure they're a little bit more powdery and I just thing with my nose. I just do it on the sides now and I bring it up. And I used the bronze, oh shit, wrong bronzer. And I used the bronzer to do my eyes as well. Did it when I was darker skin, but you get the gist. Just contour to my nose. I like how my nose gets contoured. I love how my nose gets contoured. Now, brows are done. Done my brows. Bit bold. Don't care. Just my brows on. For my eyes, simple. Simple. Just take some. I just took the bronzer that I did for my nose and went in here first of all, and then go on here and flick it out. I use the same brush that I did for my, my nose contour and you just flick it out. Make sure you get some in here. So when your nose things, it will line up perfectly. And if your nose is a little bit too harsh, just go with it with a little bit of this. And your nose will be fine. So that's all I do. And then you just put your bronzer into the crease, you know, flick it out. And flick it out a bit. So you got the flickiness out. What I did. Simple. I can do this like in 20 minutes and it's 20 minutes, probably 10 to 15 minutes. That's what I do for the eyes. It's that simple. So now for the eyes, it's a little bit of the pain. If I can find it, it is a little bit of the pain. You need an eyeliner. And what you need to do is basically have your eye liner go into the I'm just gonna show you. So basically, I'm just going to create line right there now that you create the line you need to flick it and wing it out wing it out i'm not good at wings it's thingy and what you need to do for the inner corner you need to i don't know how to explain this i'm just going to show you like a little thing create like a little in a corner get a black eyeliner so you've got kind of like that and then do the other way so that's it so what I'm going to do is put on some fake lashes and then carry on with the rest of the routine so these are what my eyes look like this is with the lashes on and everything what they look like with the lashes on now I need blush I can't live without blush I'm a blush girl I need to venture out into some new blush this is a California brush I absolutely love it what I wore as well oh my good grave I love it it's just I just love it it's just such a beautiful blush and I was putting on my napples because I have a very when I was younger I was being, I was a girl called Rosie Cheeks. I had Rosie Cheeks for days. When I was born, you can tell what photo I am because I've not changed. I have not changed since I was young girl. I got rosy cheeks. Now I did use highlighter. I cannot live without a good highlighter. I need a highlighter. I'm use the X because I love it. I'm gonna use to go between this one and this one because I'm kind of a pale tone now. And I've hit pan on the white one. Yes. And just circle it. Now I do put it on this side, but I look better. My highlight looks better this side. Oh, yes, it does. You can disagree with me or agree with me, but I like it this side because it does. I love this side. And just fluff it up. Oh. Oh, I love it so much. I'm gonna put some on the chin, put some on the brills, 
Um, I cannot live without a shimmer bronzer, so I'm going to go with this one. It is dark, but I use a tad when I'm thingy and just, just go around here. Got my cheeks as well when I put the bronzer. And I like it because it's such a good, so good. I my brows to make them pop out as well. And I go in the corners of my brows, in, uh, the corners of my eyes. Even though I've got black there, I like to do it there. And I like to take it down a little bit, just a little bit. But the white is literally falling apart on me. And then I do my nose to get it all nice and done. Do some on my keeper's bone. And for the lips, I think I wore a nude on this day. So I love my nudes, I really do. But I think I'm gonna switch up the lip liner. So the lip liner I'm gonna use is a lip liner called, I'm gonna use a Kelly one. And I'm just gonna outline my lips. Now some people say to outline your lips from the center. That doesn't work for me. It doesn't, my lips are not the same as everyone else's. I'm gonna use this one that I got from my sister. This is a one called Barely Nude. I'm gonna use this. Hmm. I don't think I like that. It's nice, but it's too pink. It's supposed to be nude. It's just too pink. I'm gonna put lip gloss over the top. Actually, I'm gonna go with cake. I like cake. <laughs> I love my lips. So now I'm going to set my face and I bought a new set of fix and spray. Now this took was a pain to get. I, if you want to see my frustration I put it out on my Instagram on my Twitter so that's why. So now I'm going to set my face with this. I'm going to shake it up. This is called the Isle of Relations fix and spray. It's got no thing. Okay. I like it and I don't like it, it like kind of squirts at you, it kind of squirts at you. And it's not as fine of a mist as I want it to be. Looks a lot different colour but I use Jeffree Star, So It's Skin plus I, uh, does the colours I own, can you not? That's why they look different. Just uh, uh, today I just added dark lip, that's probably, that's all I wanted to do to add today, was to add a dark lip today. And this is my final look. Like, it takes me no time at all to do. It's really good. It, I love it. It's just a really good one to do. And it's natural. Yes, I have the eyeshadow in my crease. And it fa does fan out. But do you know what? I like that because it gives my looks... looks uh, it makes my eyes a little bit like... Whew. But I do love this. It just looks pretty. But this is what I wore on when I did my hair... My six-month hair growth. That's... This is kind of makeup wore, except... What I did was I did um, Can You uh, Celebrity Skin by Jeffrey Not and Can You Not. All I did was put these two together and that was it. They're my go to nudes, they are. But this is the final look. I hope you do like it. Please give the video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!